welcome back to my channel and today I have this look that was requested in my previous video on the look I was wearing for um, my Gen Beauty haul. I actually wore it to Gen Beauty um, that Sunday. So here it is. I didn't really go into too much detail on the whole face. I really focused on the eyes. I'll be honest, it took me a little while to remember what I actually used but um, just to set it all straight, I used the Too Faced Vegas Nay Stardust Palette. Um, I use a lot of the shades in this palette, so you can kind of recreate this look to um, however you see fit. And if you already own the palette, then it'll be a lot easier for you to recreate the look. Um, as far as my face goes, I didn't really go into too much detail because my routine hasn't really changed since. In the video, I kind of touched base on a mini first impressions on the Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD foundation. Um, I have to say that I'm very impressed by it, but stay tuned for the video for more details on that. Um, yeah, so here's the look. I hope um, you guys liked it. It was requested a lot in my other video and I felt bad. I'm like, hmm, let me recreate this look because I've been getting um, quite a few comments requesting the look that I was wearing. I try to recre recreate it the best I could. It's crazy how you wear a look and then you're like, hmm, how do I recreate it? Because to me, it didn't come out 100,000% the same, but I did use um, the same products on my eyes down to the lashes. So, um, if you would like to see more on how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, yeah, so let's get started. So I'm going to be starting off with this Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Barely Branded. I'm going to be using that as my base today, and I'm going to be spreading that all over my lids to give it a nice pop of shimmer. I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Vegas Nay Palette, Stardust Palette rather. I'm going to be taking the shade Millennial and I'm going to use that as my transition shade on both eyes of course. And I'm going to be using this fluffy blending brush that I got from Sephora. Now going on with this eyeshadow called Girls Night from the palette, I'm going to put that between the lid color or the base that we applied earlier and the transition shade to give it a nice gradient. Now going in with the shade called Jackpot, we're going to be applying that with a small crease brush and I'm going to concentrate that in the inner depths of the crease, so to speak, just to give the eyes more definition. Once you've laid that color down, you want to blend it out with the, with the fluffy brush. I use the same one I used before just to make everything look even. Now going in with the eyeshadow called Sin City from the palette. This is just a matte black eyeshadow with minimal shimmers. I'm going to be taking a small detailed brush and I'm kind of mimicking a cut crease or a soft cut crease so to speak just to really define the eyes and give your eyes that illusion of really dramatic eyes if that makes any sense. And once you are done applying that black eyeshadow, I'm going in with that small crease brush from before and blending it out just so everything looks more even and put together. Now going in with my favorite eyeshadow from the palette called Golden Nugget. This is a true gold eyeshadow. It's very pigmented. I'm going in with a flat shader brush and gently packing it on. As you can see, I am not like swiping it back and forth. I am just lightly packing it on just so I can get the maximum coverage and the maximum pigmentation. And that eyeshadow base that we applied earlier from Maybelline really helps this eyeshadow pop. After you've packed that on, you want to go back in with your crease color just to define the crease. You know, sometimes when you pack on your lid color, you kind of lose what you did before. So that's what I'm doing. And then once I'm done doing that, I'm going to go in with my highlight shade. It's 
the shade called Chandelier, the lightest shade in the palette, and I'm highlighting my brow bone. And of course, blending it out. You're gonna see me do this throughout the rest of this eye look. Now, I'm going in with the shade Selfie. This is a very shimmery white eyeshadow, and I'm using that to um, highlight my inner corners. Now, I'm going in with this Sephora Glitter eyeshadow primer packing that on my lids and going in with this Too Faced glitter pigment in the shade nude beam this pigment I got with the palette it comes in a set so I did. now it's time to line your eyes yay my favorite part so here I am using the NYX liquid liner I believe this is the matte formula so I'm gonna line my eyes with that and then once I'm done with that I'm gonna go in with the NYX Tress Jolie gel pencil liner in the shade jet black and I'm going to tight line just this method just helps with filling in any gaps and spaces so when you apply your mascara and your falsies everything looks nice and black these are the lashes I'm going to be using for this look these are the Eyelor lashes in the number 145 so you're gonna see me applying those I already um, put the glue on them so you didn't see that part so here I am applying the lashes and I'm going to apply my mascara once I'm done applying the lashes and I'm gonna be using the benefit roller lash mascara oh my god you see my struggle who else struggles like this when they put on their lashes <laughs> oh lord finished my eye makeup this is the look that I did in my previous video well the look that I wore in my previous video but I am gonna change up the fra the face products that I use I kind of want to give the new makeup forever HD foundation a go so this is kind of like a first impressions at the same time so I'm gonna try out the little sample size of this primer which is the makeup forever step one skin equalizer and then I'm gonna try out the new foundation in the shade Y365 here it is right here. I'm gonna use a Real Techniques um, sponge and we'll see how it goes. So, I know this is a little different than what I normally do. I usually kind of just um, do a voiceover throughout, but I kind of wanted to, I wanted you guys to see like my first impressions of, of the product because I haven't used it yet. And since I'm filming, this would be a great opportunity to try out the product. So, so far, the primer feels nice. It feels very moisturizing. It feels really nice. It doesn't make my face greasy. It has a little stick to it, but not in not in a bad way. I feel like it would, it, it'll, um, blah, blah, blah. I feel like the foundation would adhere nicely. Yeah, but a, a very minor stick to it. Okay, here is the foundation. This is in the shade, I think I already said that, Y123. No, Y365. It's very yellow tone. It's different. This one's a little darker than the um, my old one. I guess they match me for this one. We'll see how the color is. So I'm going to use my Real Technique sponge. And I'm going to use two pumps of that. And just dot it all over. So right away, I feel like this match is way better. The one that I had before was a little more light. Wow, this is really nice. I feel like this one offers better coverage than the first one. Because um, I don't know if you guys see my other video. Um, a few videos back, I did a first impressions on the make um, the HD foundation, the first one, the original formula, or the older formula, I should say. And I had to use um, two layers of it because I didn't find it to be full coverage. But this one is really nice. It's really offering me um, enough coverage. Let me get a little bit more on my forehead like half a pump 
But so far I'm really impressed. Super impressed. I think I like this one better already. What do you guys think? I honestly think I'm good with one pump. It, I do notice that it is a little more warm tone or yellow. Um, I have a very neutral skin tone, so whenever I'm buying foundations, I, could, I, I don't lean more towards cool or warm. It's very weird, my skin tone. There are times where I look warmer or times where I look um, cooler, but you know, if, you know, worst case scenario, I'll mix it with the one that I already have because that one is more cool or neutral. But to be honest, I prefer, I prefer a warmer tone. I feel like it makes my skin look more um, bronzy while my ring light is not even in focus. Whoa. Okay. Can you guys see? I'm sorry if the lighting was really jacked up real quick. The ring light was like facing a whole other direction and I didn't even notice. So, um, yeah. But I, um, I prefer a warmer undertone because it makes me, it makes me feel like my skin is more bronze it looks more tan yeah so far i'm really liking this foundation so i say makeup forever did a good job this is a way better first impression than the one that i did um before i feel like the coverage is there so yeah, if you guys were on the fence on purchasing it, I totally recommend you getting it. Or if you're still kind of skeptical, because I know it's a little expensive, try it a sample. I know they have it available in Sephora and other um, department stores where they sell Makeup Forever. But um, yeah, this is the bomb. I can't wait to see how it photographs though. That's the completed look, well I look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos. Thank you all so much for watching and I love you all. Bye.